morning everybody it's a beautiful day at the off-grid homestead it's cooler today there's a breeze oh it feels good so we're gonna do some tree cutting out here and try to get ready for the chicken coop extension hey, Church, not much better oh Chris just put a new battery in the Ryobi and we're trying it out uh, last night it was not impressive but he had forgot to put a brand new battery in there so let's go do some work all right, here we have a green tree that we just dropped, and a 10-inch saw should certainly be able to cut that branch off. So, Chris, let's see what happens. Priming the, uh, or plunging the oil there. Yeah, it's green wood cuts easier. Now, does that feel better than a sawzall? Sawzall. I, I gotta use a lot more pressure and the sawzall will cut much quicker. Why don't you grab the sawzall? Yeah, say, let me go grab the and I'll put some pressure on that. We'll prop up that, that up and uh, we'll see what. Well, actually, we'll cut the end off that with a sawzall and do a comparison check. Now, Chris, by the way, for the viewers, because a lot of people think you're being tortured and oppressed and forced into subjection here. No, I do whatever I want all day long. How much do I tell you what to do around here? Very rarely. <laughs> Only when there's something like... Yeah, something that we need everybody on. Yep. So Chris is out here. He likes doing this. Actually, we're going to be chopping all these up today. And, uh, yeah, it's just you got nobody bugging you all the time. It's I freedom. I a kid all my life. Yeah. So you got freedom out here, and uh, it's a good feeling, right? Yeah. All right. Well, you want to grab that sawzall, yeah, and right <laughs> we're trying out this Ryobi chainsaw. I'm going to try to cut it with this chainsaw just for kicks. I'm gonna have to put the camera down because I can't hold it and cut. Well, Chris made this first cut. I just went along and made this cut and this cut and this cut. It doesn't feel too bad to me, but again, Chris isn't as strong and uh, that may be causing the tr problem for him. The sawzall is heavier and maybe it's the light weight of this Ryobi it's giving him problems. I'm going to discuss that with him in a minute. It seems like it cuts well, but with the, um, the thing is, because it's only eight pounds, that chain, you can feel every single link hitting the wood, and it's, uh, you've got to have some downward pressure in order to uh, keep that from kicking, and I think that's his problem with this saw. The sawzall, I think, is heavier. What do you think, Chris? Is that sawzall heavier? Yeah, I think they're about the same weight. But somehow that one's easier for you. It just cuts better. All right, well, let's see. I just cut the rest of these, and it didn't feel too bad for me, but I do have a little bit more uh, strength in my hands. So, yeah, let's cut that right there in comparison to see. A little bit faster. Well, okay. Now let's do this again. I'm gonna prop up. It's also not a brand new blade. I got quite a bit. That's coming. true. That is a, a duller blade. Um, we need to try. Well, let's cut off the end of this hanging off that rock for comparison with the uh, chainsaw, and let's see how it feels. Cut here. Okay, Chris is going to cut this off now with the chainsaw for in comparison with the reciprocating saw. That's a little faster. Yeah. Um, can you do that? No. Here, let's do it together. Grab it. Perfect. Oh. 
No, I think it's gonna work. Yeah. It kicks a lot because those, you feel every tooth in that lightweight yeah. saw. It kicks a lot. Um, well, I'll help you cut it. I'm gonna put the camera down. Yeah. Hey everybody, been knocking down some trees. I gotta take a break and so as not to wreck another chainsaw, I'm letting the saw rest. Uh, we don't want to do that and burn up a saw. We've got uh, five more trees to clear out for the chicken coop area. And then we've got to cut all these into logs and then uh, drag them on over to the uh, wood shop, the wood storage area, and start cutting them up and letting them cure for winter use. Now, we've got some good dry ones there and uh, ready for immediate burning. So we'll be good this year. Like I said, we got five more trees to take out and then we can start on our uh, chicken coop. So things are looking pretty good right now. But I gotta take a rest and let my uh, McCulloch chainsaw rest and uh, we'll be back. Well, I don't know if it shows. I think it does. I've got quite a clearing in here in the middle. I took the uh, chainsaw and started chainsaw, sorry I'm exhausted, and started uh, cutting up logs. Now my wood stove only takes 12 inch logs. And I started clearing up all up in here and just chopping and chopping and chopping. You got a lot left to do. We have to clear this area. I'm going to cut all these into logs and clear this area so we can put up our chicken coop. So we've got a lot of logging left to do. We certainly are not going to suffer for firewood this year, are we, Chris? Oh, no. <laughs> he said, oh, no. So all this area here was all full of branches and debris, and it's all cleared out through the middle. And uh, we're going to leave the brush scattered around like it is like that for the chickens, because that'll attract bugs for the chickens. And that's a good thing in this case. There's a little bit to here. That's just a little brush and debris, which is normal on the forest floor. But anyway, um, I'm resting. I was getting shaky. The saw was burning my hand. And although I only went through half a tank of gas, I decided to stop. Let that saw rest. I don't want to hurt it. And uh, pick up again later. We're doing it in little bits and speed pieces here just we'll cut a little break a little cut a little wait a little let the saws rest I don't know if you see the shakiness my hand shakes a little bit the uh, action of the saw has got my arm shaking the vibration but anyway we're getting there of course now they got quiet yeah, of course. I, I was gonna record there's such a cute noise come on turkeys talk yeah, I cleared up over here a little bit well, now they're not gonna make a sound. Come on, birds, say something. Come on, birds. Well, that's at least something. They were making the coolest sound, running around in a group. Anyway, all the turkeys are out. The birds follow us around. I think that's a guy. And there's a girl. Well, everybody, um, I am disappointed. Chris figures it was a manufacturing defect, but the handle broke. He was, and Chris isn't that strong. We all know that. He was just simply cutting a tree uh, branch, and the handle broke. Let me see if I can support this with my feet. See, the handle is completely broke. Um, of course, it could have been a defect, but... I don't know. There is a lot of pressure on that. Pushing that away, there's a lot of pressure on that. So I think the way it was put together was just uh, too much force on it. Uh, this is the first Ryobi tool I've ever been disappointed in. We did take it out. I was, I was enjoying it. And I was really pleased with its performance on cutting trees. Uh, uh, branches, I mean. Chopping the the um, lopping off the tops of trees that I downed with the big chainsaw and cutting off the branches and twigs 
I liked it. I didn't show you, but I was I was going like mad out there with this. And I think we were still on the first battery. I'd have to ask Chris. But uh, I think we're on the first battery. Now, I asked Chris, what are these marks on the top? And that's pollen, actually. I wondered, because I was wiping it off. There's pollen all over Chris's gloves. So um, that is not from an impact. That's from his gloves and from the pollen all over the trees. Um, he's been using it quite a bit today, but uh, it didn't hold up. So I have to decide if we want to get another one, just get a replacement and keep going um, and continue on reviewing this product because I sort of like it and it definitely is uh, making Chris's job faster. I will wait for your opinion, everybody, uh, and not just some comment that it's garbage because uh, somebody had commented that and that was lame, um, not, you know, before without even any knowledge of it. So far, the railway tools have never let me down, so let's see uh, what we decide here. Tell me what you think, everybody. Should we get another one or should we uh, give up on this? But they can't be in our flowers. Chris, let's give them some food over here. I'm gonna herd them back over if you would. Go. Yeah, thanks. Come on, birds. They're not very afraid, you can tell. I'm right here. Come on, birds. Let's get some food. Come on. You want me to give them half a cup or? Ah, full cup over here. No, they're making some noise. They know what's coming. Oh, we need more food. Yeah. We were there today. That was dumb of me not to think of that. Yeah. I just threw it right there. Yeah. Just just give it a toss right there in the area. Yep, there you go. Thanks. That way they uh, stay away from the house. I don't want them to get used to going up by the house. There they go. Even our little bantams are out right now during the day. Well, hey everybody, there's a cute little turkeys and other birds. Well, everybody, look here. Uh, we've got a clearing in the woods. Look at that. So you can see that the light is brighter here now. Um, Chris and I have been working pretty hard. Oh, Chris has been hauling out some of the wood I was cutting. And he's been straightening up over by the wood uh, shed too. And you can see now, except for a Widowmaker over there, which is not a big deal, that's a thin one. Um, we've got quite a clearing here where the new chicken coop is gonna be. Yeah. So, looking good. All this space here is gonna be for the chicken coop. All the way over beyond that little baby Widowmaker. It's gonna be over to here. And then um, we're clearing all these up no, it's uh, Wednesday, so I've got to get ready for church. Otherwise, I'd be out here cutting some more right now. But uh, we'll get it. I think there's a couple, couple few days, and we'll get this all cleared up. Now, we've still got a couple trees. Um, let me see. Good angle to show you here. We've got this tree here, um, which is between the tent and the clearing. And then where Chris is standing is another tree. And that one, these two have to go. And then we'll have a nice clearing right there. Where Chris is in the middle of the chicken coop. You were good, Chris. Don't leave the chicken coop. <laughs> Stay in the chicken coop. <laughs> anyway, that's it right there. So let me get this video live before I leave. Talk to you all later. Oh, someone's certainly going to ask about the stumps. Everybody's always asking me about the stumps. Well, they're going to be great chicken roosts, and I'm sure the chickens are going to love them. We're going to leave them there. And uh, any growth that comes up, which will sprout up, uh, is good for the chickens to play around and, and whatever. A little cover for the chickens. 